Go. Four downs with Rich. Here we go. Why did he stop? First down. And let's start with that Thursday night game. The Kansas City Chiefs have lost two in a row at home to AFC South opponents that have come in and imposed their will, uh, as the Colts did, and then the Texans who came back on the Chiefs. And my concern for Kansas City is this. First down is they need a running game. They they have no running game. Zero. LaShawn Le- McCoy outsnapped Damian Williams, but Williams scored a couple touchdowns in the air. Nobody's afraid of, of being run on by the Chiefs, and they're pinning their ears back. The offensive line would love, I'm sure, to come off and try to start road grading in the same way that the Colts did in the same way that other teams do against the Chiefs because they want to keep Patrick Mahomes on the sideline and put together five, six, seven-minute long drives. Um, I'm sure they'd love to do that. Sometimes they can't because Mahomes is so incredible. He'll uncork a 75-yard pass on third and 20. To, to, instead of going three and out, they get a touchdown out of it. So it's one way to, to, to uh, allow the, the Chiefs to get aggressive in their own right. But also Mahomes is limping around like he's Fred G. Sanford uh, on, on a bad day. And I think he might have a bad ankle. And one way to keep him upright is let him hand the ball off every now and then. Yeah, two straight losses, 89 total rushing yards in those two games. They're 24th in the league in rushing yards, which if you take a look at all the teams that have played six games right now from that point down, if you take a look at all the teams that played six games from 24th down, they are all under 500. The Chiefs are the only one above 500. That's because they've got Mahomes. And now Tyreek Hill... Uh, I mean, they haven't had a 100-yard rusher since last year's playoff game. Damian Williams had it against the Colts. Let's see what they, – they need a running game. they got to get some balance here. Uh, that's my two cents on that second down. Let's second, second down. down. Okay, second down is don't count the Cleveland Browns oh, out no, just yet. Oh, no, come on, really? Don't count them out yet. They're 2-4, and four, and they're going to come off the bye, and they are got to go to New England. Let's make them 2-5. and five. Okay. Let's make them two and five, and let's all pile on uh, Baker Mayfield um, and use the NFL 100 commercial campaign where he's sitting next to Brady with all his rings, and he's the one staring at the rings. Let's use that as the uh, as the photograph of what the headline will be coming out of the fifth loss of the season in seven games to start it. Put the put the uh, the schedule up, please. From week nine on, Cleveland is at Denver, home for Buffalo which won't be easy. And then two more straight home games, the Steelers, the Dolphins, and then they're at the Steelers again, finishing up with a home date against Cincinnati at Arizona, home for Baltimore, which we've seen it's been, that's their best game of the year was at Baltimore. Right. And then they're at Cincinnati to wrap it up. It's entirely possible they're 10 and six. Yeah, they could still only get one of those ten, yeah. games. Let's say they lose two of them. They're nine and seven, which I think will be good enough for a sixth seed in the in the um, playoff hunt. In the AFC, you think nine and AFC, seven gets possible. you in? It's possible. It's possible. I'm not saying that for sure. All I'm saying is don't count the Browns out just yet, and don't forget week ten they get Kareem Hunt back, and at some point we'll move him in there, and we'll see what the offense looks like there. And as I just mentioned, one way to make a quarterback who's getting chased around look better is with a running game don't count them out is what i'm saying all right third down third down so who are the new playoff teams you know every single year on average six new playoff teams yeah, are in yeah. except right now a third of the season in every single afc division is led by last year's division winner every last one of them and then you look at the nfc dallas is atop the nfc east although they're tied You've got the Saints there. The only new, if you will, division leaders are the Niners, but just a half game in front of Seattle, which is also would be a techni- technical new division winner. So it looks like that's the way it's going in the NFC West. And then the Packers on top of the Vikings with the Bears, who are your defending champs right there, two-plus games out because, as we all know, Green Bay beat Chicago to start the season. So who are the new playoff teams? There might not be a lot of them. Right now, what they look like is San Francisco is one of them. And the Bills, yep. one of them at 4-1. and one. And then you've got Minnesota. Don't sleep on Carolina. I saw them with my own two eyes. McCaffrey, everybody knows he's going to get the ball, and he still is incredible. And they can scheme the, him open to, in open space. And Kyle Allen's not making any mistakes. 
And this kid Burns from Florida State, along with Addison and McCoy and Poe. I mean, they're really good in the front seven. Keekley, obviously. Carolina might be a playoff team. Yeah, there are seven seed right now in a tiebreaker. These are all ifs and buts. Yeah. But I'm going to grab the fourth down hot to take plank and tell you who is one of them. <laughs> oh, fourth here down. we go. My, my favorite part of the week, it's hot oh, yeah, take Chris, plank time. When Rich gets up, Chris gets the hot take plank. I'm a little biased Uh-oh. because I have nothing but love for the man <laughs> who's putting the team together there now. The Oakland Raiders <laughs> are not only going to make the playoffs, they're going to make the playoffs. I'll give you the record, 10-6. and six. Ooh, What? The Oakland Raiders whoa, are going to make the playoffs, whoa, 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 and they're going to make the playoffs with a 10-6 and six record. 10-6? Uh, and six. Yeah, look at Gruden. He's smiling on the screen. Great photograph to put up there, Evan. I like it. Okay, so it's week seven week, at I, Green gonna, Bay. Hold on a minute. I'm going to tell you. We're going to parse this out? I'm going to parse it out. They're at Green Bay and they're at, at Houston. I'll even give them two losses there. Okay. Great music too, Mikey. Well, that okay. puts them under 500. Yes, it is. Three and four going into a stretch of three straight home games in the black hole. Detroit, Chargers, Bengals. Then they're at the Jets at Kansas City. I'll, I'll even give you two losses there. Just because the Jets are playing so damn well. And the Jets so finally get them in their house. So they're going to that house that, of horrors that, out there in Oakland. That's six and six. By the way, you think the Yankees stink in that stadium? The Jets stink to higher heaven. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to have them winning out. Home for Tennessee, home for Jacksonville at the Chargers. Where If you, right, if you saw yeah. what the Steelers did there. Okay, the Raider fans. The Raider fans here in Los Angeles going to show up. And at Denver, that's 10 and six. Whew. Wow. That's 10 and 6. The autumn wind will be a playoff team. Knock on wood if you're with me. <laughs> wow. My fourth right, down right, right there. Right. Damn, I was so close right. to my last fourth down being correct that the Dolphins wouldn't be the last winless yeah. team in the NFL. Two point conversion away. And now I might be right because they benched Rosen for Fitz Magic. Oh, my gosh. That was a terrible two-point play call, though. Oh, you think? <laughs> that smells of uh, intentional. No, it doesn't. Stop it. <laughs> if, they wanted to, if they really wanted a tank, they, they'd keep the, the kid out there. You know Fitzmagic's good for at least two wins in him. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.